You're in for it now. Miserable little thief. Haven't seen the last of me. Nothing, Nothing to be had there. there. Hey. Nothing to plunder. Nothing to plunder.
idea. You tell me. It's just like you said. But nobody wants to know. I can't help it. That will never well, change. You mustn't know. believe everything you hear. I'm you staying out of it. Tell you didn't know that's been known a long time. What are you doing here in my kitchen? Something smells delicious here. Oh, yes. I know the likes of you. They're swarming all over the place. First, they try to get on your good side, and then when you need them, they're nowhere to be seen. I'm hungry. I don't dish out food to tramps. I only feed people who work. And that mercenary riffraff, of course. I'm looking for work. You want to work here on the farm? Only Onar can decide that. The farm is his, and so is the entire valley. Actually, I was planning to join another of those felons from the penal colony. I might have known. Just leave me alone. There's already enough of your kind around here. What's your problem with the mercenaries? Ah, oh, those morons really get on my nerves, especially Silvio and his fat buddy, Bulko. The two of them have been sitting in their corner for days now, making life miserable for me. The soup's too hot, the meat's too tough, etc. and so forth. Then why don't you do anything about it? And what am I to do, Mr. Smarty Pants? Whack them with my rolling pin? I can do that to the farmers, but these lowly bastards just hit back. Want me to teach the two of them some manners? You better not try that, honey. As far as I know, Silvio has magic armor. He can't be defeated. What about Bulko? That guy is as strong as an ox. So far, he has flattened anyone who tried to mess with him or Silvio. I need a place to sleep. Don't even think about sleeping in my kitchen. Go find yourself a place in the barn. Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? It's possible. I was in the colony too. Right. What do you want? How's the situation? Right now, we've got real trouble. Two factions are building up amongst us mercenaries. Silvio and his people doubt that Lee is following the right plan. How come there are two factions? Most of us came out of the colony with Lee back then, but some of the mercenaries hooked up with us later. They didn't come from the colony, but were farther south fighting the Yorks. Somehow they got wind that Lee needed people. Their leader was Silvio. He agreed that Lee was in charge, but now he's trying to stir up the mercenaries against them and his plan. A lot of Lee's people don't think that it's a big problem, but I know guys like Silvio. He'll go to extremes to realize his ideas. Do you know what Lee's intentions are? Lee wants us to wait and starve the paladins in the city. He is planning to get us all away from the island, and Enos knows I've got nothing against getting away from here. I don't really know how he's planning to go about it, but I trust him. He's led us well so far. Do you know what Silvio is planning? Silvio found out that some of the paladins have moved out to the old colony. He says the rest of the paladins wouldn't dare to attack us here, and wants to take advantage of the situation plunder the small farms, waylay the militia patrols outside the city, hold up travelers, things like that. But Lee thinks that would be the worst thing we could do in our situation. I want to become a mercenary. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Where's the problem? Well, I either have to vote for you or against you. And in the situation we're in, I'll only vote for you if I can be sure that you're on Lee's side. So what should I do? Simple. Beat up a few of Silvio's boys. That way both sides will know exactly where you stand. And if you stick to the rules for a duel, you'll even win the respect of the others. What are the rules for a duel? Go to Torloff and let him explain it if you're interested. Just so we understand each other. I don't care if you stick to the rules or not. 
just as long as the boys wind up out coal in the mud. Which of the mercenaries are Silvio's men? There are six men. First of all, Silvio himself and his right-hand man, Bolko. Then there's Rod, Sentenza, Fester, and Raul, Raul. The rest of the people are either neutral or on Lee's side. How many of Silvio's people should I defeat? If you knock three of them to the ground, then you've proven which side you're on. Whom you choose is your business. Just one little hint. This isn't about proving your courage. Don't go up against Silvio himself. He'll make mincemeat out of you. Nothing there. Nothing there.
nothing to be had there. Hey, you! What are you creeping around there for? All by yourself out here? Tell me what you want of me, and then go away! I'm busy! Who are you? You haven't heard of me, then. Herb witch, they say. Quack, they call me. But when they're in a bad way, they all suddenly remember good old Sigita and her healing herbs. Can you heal me? That's what you came for, isn't it? Just let me know when there's something wrong with you. What wares do you have to offer? Tell me what you want. Heal me. Let me see. Hmm. My ointment will take care of the worst of your wounds. Can you teach me your herbal lore? How interesting. I don't get asked that very often. So you want to be my student? Then you'll first have to prove your request is serious. At the moment, I am working on a very rare potion made from exquisite herbs and juices. If you can get me one ingredient, a very rare herb, which I don't have here, I shall train you. What ingredient is that? It's an extremely rare plant, an herb called sun aloe. You can recognize it by its intensive almond scent. Where can I find this ingredient? The herb I require only grows in places where it can get all the nutrients it needs. These are found in the excrements of a black troll. That's why it's so difficult for me to get the herb, you see? Let's see if I can get hold of it somewhere. Well then, good luck with your search. Nothing there. <laughs> Nothing to plunder.
traveling so far from home, out here you have to be careful, especially when you're all by yourself. What are you doing out here? Well, the tavern is too expensive for me. That's why I settled here. The previous inhabitants don't seem to need it anymore. Who used to live in this camp? No idea. Probably some hunters. I suppose it got too dangerous for them out here. Isn't it too dangerous out here? Well, not if you can defend yourself. My crossbow has already proven to be of service many times. It's not all that big. But deadly, if you know how to handle it. I used to have a bigger one. Unfortunately, I lost it. I ventured too far north into the mountains. There's a big stone circle there with a sacrificial altar. While I was hunting scavengers up there, these vile undead beings came out of the woods and attacked me. All I could do was run for my life. While I was running, the crossbow slipped from my hand. I bet it's still lying up there by that strange stone circle in the north. Can you teach me something? Before I teach you anything, you'll have to improve your dexterity.
Nothing to be had there. Thank you. 